How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Some Ordinary Podcast. I got my co-host, Nux Taku and Oompaville. How's it going, boyos? Oompaville has a picture of me on his chest. Yeah, Oompa- Oompaville's like, shoot, yeah, there it is. That's He's got me. the, we're already getting demonetized early, reveal. dude. <laughs> it's a tadpole. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I've seen tadpoles, buddy, that ain't it. <laughs> but we've got... We've got another VTuber in here, so we're actually diversifying a little bit. What? We got False Eye. How's it going, my man? Yes, we are. We are diversifying here. That's right. Two for one sale for the VTubers today. <laughs> it's a but dub. But you, you know, you know what's crazy out though out is a like, VTuber. <laughs> Sorry, it's happened. Dude, at last. Hold on, did you? Did you guys see the Quebelkov photo? Like, you gotta start off with that, the AI <laughs> photograph that he was in. Did you guys see that shit? No, I didn't see him in an AI photograph, but I see him tweeting no. all day, I'm gonna let AI raise my children. Like, I don't even no, know what he's did you Did you right see the now. conference he was at? He was at a conference oh, yeah. he was speaking that. to people. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the, the amount of roasting on there, I would just I go private. I have never seen that like... ratio to that. He, he was so proud. He posted the image, the thing on Twitter of his AI voice like voiceovering uh like making a sandwich and the video got like three million views completely comprised of people shitting on him he had like a hundred likes with three million views and he said ai content is going viral all according to plan <laughs> dude i i honestly i i'm so blown away by like this hill like we had quibble cop on a while ago yeah. and honestly I was gonna he was say, funny as hell is this quibble cop friend of the show Quibble yeah, Cop, Quibble a friend Cop. of the show. Uh, Dude, he was interesting point, to Quibble, talk to. Not gonna lie. Quibble Cop is not just a friend, Caleb. Quibble Cop is like the Matrix now. He has created <laughs> an artificial intelligence representation of him, okay? So, I, in one hand, I'm kind of impressed because I think we've all kind of sat down and we're like, man, I wish we could get an AI to do the busy work of our videos, right? Like, maybe like if an AI could edit the video like down a little bit or like make a rough cut, that'd be kind of cool. So well, we I've, could like kind of do our own things. I've been doing that for years. I just have this uh, quick little program that just cuts out all the silent stuff for me. Just boom, like that. So, yeah, like stupid, easy. like like stuff like that. But yeah, nobody but the expects trick is like adding stock sound effects and Mr. B subtitles when you're talking. Now that's an well, AI that I like, would invest like the in. Thing is, the thing is, it's so wild to expect somebody to like create an entire AI like video because every single AI video that a, a Quebble Cop has made, and I've seen a chunk of them now, yep. they all really, really feel super duper soulless to me. Like it's oh, like if I watch if I if I watch a video from Caleb, right? It's not the editing style or anything that I'm watching for. It's because it's Caleb's edge. making jokes that. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's a way that you talk, there's a way that you deliver jokes right. and, and your commentary that AI is just never able to do. Yeah, there's right. more right. insight like, even... to it than just repeating back what you already know. So there's got to you know, be well, something yeah, the there. The Quibble Cop videos are just, uh, like, the, the AI model, like the VTuber model sitting there, and you're like, Oh my god, guys, I'm standing on a block in Minecraft, guys! Oh my god, guys, there's two blocks in Minecraft, guys! This is TNT, guys! This is gonna explode, guys! This exploded, guys! Let's and go, just... Pops! <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps so, going. So, like, I, I think he really just believes that the, you, that, like, the next big creator will be an AI creator, and I swear to God if that happens... I think the platform oh. we know it as is like dead. You know, I'm not like if lie. that's what the if you told me Coco Melon was completely AI generated, I would believe you. Yeah, but like who watches Coco Melon though? Kids. What's the average age? Zero. The average age is on Caleb's shirt right now. There's <laughs> nobody that's watching the book. <laughs> yeah, like that's the that's the average age of a Coco Melon viewer, dude. I can like, assure I, you, and I this is no surprise for anyone, there are numerous, numerous investors right now trying to create AI content creators, and they're ready to start rolling this out probably as soon as early next year, in serious serious ways. Yeah, I, I would not be surprised. I mean, we've all yeah. seen Princess Jane. I mean, hey, listen, with this, with the way this writer strike is going right now, yeah. you know, Netflix <laughs> is looking for a million ways to turn all of that shit into, like, oh, they've AI. Had, they immediately ran out the job listings for that. <laughs> they were like, hey, we yeah. need uh, some actual uh, AI development Dude, operations here. Dude, $950,000 a year for an AI chief at Netflix, right, bro. Right, right. Just yeah. Shitting out AI, but Actually like wild. to be fair, 
Netflix could get away with it because, like, what the f else is their... Like, most of it really just seems like AI trash to me anyways, right? Like, I, I think out of Netflix or, like, any of these streaming services, maybe I find one good thing out of, like, 10, 20, you know, worth, like, watching. I mean, us I VTubers are slightly to blame to. already because we already was like, well, you don't need uh, you don't need a normal camera. <laughs> Sorry, whoops. Uh, we messed that True, up for you. honestly. I hey. think people see this and they're like, wait, we don't even need a real person? We could mimic this easy. Or they don't even think it's a real person in the first place. So that's the other side of it, where it's like, no, 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 no. I swear, we swear, we swear we're real. But yeah, it's always been an uphill battle that way. Here's a question. Yeah, I mean, How, do, yep. do you, any of you guys actually have any like AI voices of yourselves out there? Yeah, I do. Oh uh, yeah, I have a lot of AI shit of myself out there. F up stuff, actually, like, that I wish didn't exist. Immediately when mine came out, my friends started using it on my other friends. So, it was, and they started like totally, That's totally scary. getting like lost with it, for it. And I was like, I mean, uh, Anthony please. Padilla, he got scammed because of it. Someone called him and AI, you know, generated Cody Ko's voice <laughs> and got him to follow some Twitter account and then hacked his phone. Or something. Dude, I can't I can't wait for tech support scammers to have real time voice AI and shit. Just like call me up over the phone and like actually sound like they're from Microsoft and not from like the other side of the world. Jesus Christ. I, I've had AI like I dude honestly, like I'm surprised there's not like an over influx of like the top creators having like fed up shit and voice clips being constantly sent around already, you know? Like uh we kinda I had it with Joe Rogan. No believe it. Like no one will yeah, I think it's like, already it, it's like the, the for this AI stuff to like work, you have to have a really you have to, it has to be cyber. There has to be a suspension of disbelief because it's not real. People are not just going to automatically believe things are real. The only reason they believe fake shit on like TV or the news is because it's still real. It appears real. But and then if there's like, then already half of people already think that that's fake, even though it's real. So like, okay, okay, Caleb. Then at least in America. Know well, do you know what just happened in Mexico, Caleb? Do you believe it's on TV? 100% I believe it, and I think I'm becoming a Mexican citizen as yes! soon as possible. Dude, I'm, dude, honestly, like, last night when I was, like, so I had to go to the airport to pick up my parents, and, like, halfway to the airport, like, I just looked through the news, Mexican Congress. So for anybody oh, that dude. doesn't know. This is amazing. For anybody that... For anybody that's new, okay, I want to remind you, Mexico is part of our hemisphere, the North America, you know, <laughs> all of it. Um, Rosa didn't know okay, it borders the, the United yeah. States of America. Yeah, Mexico. I'm only about Mex four hours from there. Mexico is very f***ing close to all of us, okay? <laughs> Mexico is also the country that has presidents believing in elves, all the craziest shit <laughs> chupacabras out there, okay? This is like, the president of fucking Mexico is a literal 4 chain, or I'm not even around with that this is an actual like legitimate statement so recently mexico in their congress just showed two alien bodies in in a f***ing casket they unveiled the casket there were literally two aliens laying there in fact i'm gonna see if i can just show you guys like a like a clip of it real quick just because uh, just because we can add context and everything um this happened last night so i want you guys to remember like the last month this side of the world, like in America, we were just kind of f***ing talking about aliens, and we were just, you know, it, it was it was a, it was a pretty simple. We were talking about we UFOs, aliens, right? Mexico decided to one up all of us, and I'm going to show you guys the footage right here. Okay, I have the stuff bookmarked. It'll never leave the bookmark. What it's showing up for you guys? No, Let me know. Yet. Still loading. Right. Not yet. Caleb, you've been on the UFO train, like. What what what's your impression? Were you ready for this quick to see aliens already, or were you were you primed now? Let's just say my prayers came true. <laughs> <laughs> I think There's I might be the only too. one who f I might be the only one who fully and demonstrably believes that this is completely true. What I believe it's f***ing true. Don't don't f***ing act like you're the only one. In <laughs> oh, this. there it is, dude. That's it. That's that's yes, the sir. alien barcos. It's our boy. That's it. <laughs> And, and 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 because before anybody watching this podcast like oh wow using AI imagery no 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 I'm gonna show you the video okay I'm gonna show you the f***ing video real quick right here okay? I forgot to tell Falside before he joined the stream that we're all Scientologists oh we're a Scientologist yeah apparently that that's actually like from the Mexican Congress <laughs> like I'm not even with you guys this is actually real it's we need to step alien. it up There's with our no Congress way that the first alien body that we see looks like ET. That makes no sense. Uh, uh -oh. Bro, that looks like a sandcastle to me. Now, of course, 
of, of course, Western media has to oh, spread I propaganda. Oh, no, not the content. Dude. No. Bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is just this is just Western propaganda. Yeah, you're gonna believe to a Twitter yeah. note over the Mexican yeah, what the government. I know what I saw. This this is Elon Musk. So here it says this is a hoax and a fraud promoted by the known Mexican journalist Jaime Mosan. So they gave us two proofs. Codigu Calto. Alright, this seems legitimate. What is this? Extraterrestrial. I can't wait. Let me let me just translate this to the old it's English. Be some there. This is a website. fraud. Same. Disclosure of fraud. Also, just by review, we can suspect something quite murky because of the few days ago radio show called blah blah blah. blah. So they're disproving uh, apparently what's happened in Mexican Cringe. Congress. A harangue, nothing more. Why spoil a good story for the sake of the truth? It's a harangue, nothing more. Twitter.com. I mean, oh. listen, like, listen, at the end of the day, I don't believe any of this shit. Like, they're, like I don't believe that this is not it. Like, it was in the f***ing government, okay? Listen, at the end of the day, the Mexican government breathed some legitimacy into this shit. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I gotta say, that alone is, like, that alone should blow your mind, okay? Like, you wake up one day. I really do believe we live in a, in, in a meme timeline, you know? Like, the weasel timeline is very much real. Okay. I agree. Do you know the weasel timeline, Falsa? What is this? What oh. is this? Okay, so, the, so there are there are a group of people. We <laughs> prepare for this. One. As there okay. always is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's a group of people that believe. You know what the uh, large hydro hadron collider is? Yes. At Kern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there Could are have been people in Texas, that believe. We almost got it. Yeah. There are people that believe that because a weasel snuck into the hadron collider, and it up we now exist in a different timeline the weasel with timeline. people and this is the weasel timeline so we get all this crazy fallout new vegas weird west shit happening on a daily basis but that doesn't take sure a collider doesn't, to do that right isn't that like half butterfly effect stuff where you just you know like you know hey hey what what, hey, what shape the is the weasel earth? timeline hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah what, sh what shape is the earth false eye yeah dude come on yeah, come on. It's kind of like apple-like, apple-shaped, apple. -like, apple, -shaped? apple, -shaped? apple -shaped? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's flat. This shape right it's, here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's exactly what the yeah. It's pug it's shape. This shape. Yeah. The way that you the way that you type your channel name, you fed, you fucking fed. F E D. You finally catching yeah. on. Yeah. This is We're sting, right here. idiots. Gotcha. We're right here. Damn. Yeah. yeah, but like, but 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 in all but in all actuality, you know, a government just talked about alien bodies, and they did DNA tests on these bodies. Apparently, oh, allegedly, wow. I know. And it turns out that thirty percent of the DNA is stuff we've never seen. Thirty to thirty-five percent. So, oh, so this this is like after many generations of humans having sex with aliens. That's what we got. I mean, yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, but yeah, yeah. I guess sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. The point of the matter is, <laughs> they're allowing scientists in to examine. I guess. Let's go. And maybe look. Maybe this leads to something cool. Maybe it doesn't. I don't fucking care. At the end of the day. I woke up to the new. My dad and mom, the whole life is spent, and they've never fucking seen this in the news at my age, okay? They had to grow up with scary, realistic shit like the fucking Cuban Missile Crisis and nukes. <laughs> I get to fucking experience aliens and shit, dude. That's fucking sick. Like, on the mainstream news, too, no less. Like, this isn't on the fringe. This is like yeah, right is there, Channel right 4 X. News. Com stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It's Dude, it's I, no uh, it's no Princess Jane, my new favorite cinematic uh, universe. Um, bro, I love that that guy who posted Princess Jane. I love the AI Princess shit. Jane. So, who here knows what Princess Jane is? Oh, you are in for oh, such okay. a treat. We're, we're in for Princess more AI junk. Here you go. This is more it's, okay. It's in the chat. They got it. They got this it. is more AI trash. So basically, <laughs> ever since the strike has happened, people wondered, you know, how are we going to watch our new Disney movies? Oh my god, I saw this, yeah. I love you, Princess Jane! This is so Jane. fucking terrible, dude. Dude, the guy who posted this, he's like, this is the future. All of this written by AI. An AI origin story narrated background. by Princess Jane. The AI cinematic universe is gradually taking shape. With more investments, AI will have a significant impact on the movie industry. And it released... The most dog shit, like, bad-looking, crappy thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like, he was so proud, too. He got 11 million views on Princess Jane. Dude, I, I love the AI content creator side, man. It's just like, they put a 
and a few prompts into it. Go smoke a fat doobie Dude, and come and back so thinking they made the Mona too. Lisa. They're like, yo, this is taking over. And then you have shit-ass looking Princess Jane over see, here. Like, see, see, this is why I think bullying needs to be reinstitutionalized in society. Because so real. I, I believe in certain cases, and not all, obviously... Bullying is bad, okay? Mm. Per YouTube's TOS. And, yes, unless it's for educational life. purposes. Bullying, harassment, bad, wrong. <laughs> we don't do it. Very wrong. I was going to say vigilantism, <laughs> but apparently that gets you strikes these days. I, I, I firmly believe that in some cases it's like, it, it kind of like steers society in the right way in certain cases, right? Like, if you're, okay, listen, if your dumbass friend starts making AI fucking Mona Lisa's and like animations, you're not going to egg him on, right? You're not going to be like, oh wow, this is, you're cooking with gas today, Tom. Keep and go and you're not gonna do that you're gonna you're gonna tell them this is this is awful stop so. it but yo this is what i love about social media everyone just tells these people yeah you go king this is what it's all about congrats like you're you're always gonna find a group of people that are just as stupid as you that just reaffirms you you know now wait a like, second hold on we got new reports here i'm just getting this in now princess jane has officially dethroned barbie as the highest grossing film of 2023 following the huge <laughs> worldwide box office opening weekend that's huge. of two billion dollars. That's what the that's B. That's huge. All right, so I think this Let's is a game changer. Princess actually. Jane. Know, yeah, that, is it, did you did you that calculate that money in crypto or not? I, oh, yeah, I think this from that... Snake Eyes one one three on X dot com. This is official. Oh, that this must is be massive. real. I, Holy that's shit! That's probably real. Bro, I, yeah. I love I love me the X dot com nerds, man. That is the X dot com nerds are the best. Did you see Global Cup posted a AI generated? Uh, time lapse, which is literally nothing. AI time lapse is literally nothing. Wait, what the f- is an AI time lapse? It's just lapse? like you Hold see on, clouds what? in the sky just making funny shapes like they're moving. <laughs> it's just if you're lucky. A- if you AI get that time if you're lapse lucky. is literally nothing because there is no time lapsing. <laughs> it's like the funniest I, idea I'm... in the world. I'm sorry. I, I, honestly, I think he stuff. might be trolling us. I think he's just trolling sure. us. He's like, definitely that's baiting us, no doubt. Hundred percent. Kwebelkov is a f-ing troll, and the fact that he's like impression farming like this is just a peak sign of it, man. It's f-ing great. I'm but, just trying um, to like wrap my head around like what was it about 2023 that made this all actually like real? Like we were talking about AI for years and years and years and years, and then suddenly mm-hmm. January 2023 comes around, and all of a sudden it's like. Oh wait, no, my voice is out there, and they're actually trying to make money off this. What, like, what happened oh, I here? I feel like, like it, crypto died, and they needed the new thing. Oh, they yeah, needed the new. It, yeah, money it advanced laundering. really okay. fast too. Like, it advanced. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a that's a that's a salacious argument. Jesus Christ! Not all <laughs> cryptocurrency is money laundering. False. I'll have you know, ninety nine percent of it may be, but there's a clean one percent. I still Dogecoin will still go to the moon. I'm holding. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be holding for a I'm long joking. time. I was making fun of Caleb, actually. My dad actually just tweeted me about, or uh, he didn't tweet me. <laughs> My dad just texted me and said, "Happy Wednesday, heading south. Just heard they found tiny thousand-year-old aliens in Mexico heading there." Dude, tell him so, it's real. You gotta tell him it's all yo, real. You call him, it's put him on speaker, all and tell him real. it's real. Big news. Big news. You know, I said that. Now. I said that to my. I said that to my dad this morning. Like I woke <laughs> up and I. Dude, he never he he's still ghosting me. Like it's f-ed up. My dad left me on red. That's like, it's funny. F-ed up. It's not like like this morning I wake up and I'm like, oh hey dad, how's it going? You know, are you jet lag or whatever. He's like, no no, I'm good. And then I'm like, hey dad, and I send him the f-ing Mexican aliens, and he, he's I'm like, dude, dad, it's real. Still on red, dude. I saw the bubbles pop up for a minute, but then he got disappointed real hard and just backspaced <laughs> oh, that no. whole ass. Line has not sent me in. He didn't even like respond with like an emoticon, like an emoji or some shit. I think he's like genuinely one of those smiley face. You ain't worth his time, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's literally. I think he's disowning me, honestly. If I'm actually yeah. like, but I have to, like the the thing is, listen, okay. If it's not real, okay, sure, yeah, I'm I'm a fucking idiot. But if it is, if it is ahead of the curve, exactly, then I can. And sit here and say, I told you so. Mm-hmm. Early so you got a double entendre yeah. because if there are aliens, there is a curve. This Dude, same I'm, mindset I'm so is why crypto is so popular. Bro, I'm holding this hell to the moon, bro. I don't give a fuck. Diamond hands on the alien, the alien dub. Dude. 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 Nux is already making his Roll 34 Mexican alien uh, video as we speak. Hey, whoa, whoa. Spoilers. Spoilers. Dude, Go, I, false. Can't... I, have, I have a riddle for you, false. There are four black birds on a wire. Okay. How many wings are there? 
four. That should mean like eight, right? That's how math works, right? No. How many beaks are there? Should be four. Four. How many legs are there? It's like eight again. Okay, all right. So then a white cat goes up to the wire and it sees all the birds there and then he smiles. How many teeth does the cat have? I don't know. He's probably a racist or something. So, you know, like he's privileged. He's got all his teeth. Uh, 32. Let's go 32. I don't know. You, you had to think about that a lot. It <laughs> seems like you know a lot about black, but not a lot about white. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's some VTuber <laughs> shit we just watched right yeah, there, boys. Do you know what I just where, quoted, by the way? Where did you get that joke, <laughs> chat GPT? Oh my that god. That was the Aiden Ross clip of the week, no! ladies oh and gentlemen. Oh my god. There's, no way. There's just no way that's we a need, clip you. We need a containment or something. <laughs> we got a breach. <laughs> I actually saw him fumbling through that joke, <laughs> trying to tell it to Andrew Tate. And my man, was, he was just looking at him like he's an idiot. Well, now we got a bunch of nine-year-olds to repeat it back to us for a few months. That's cool. Like yeah. that. Yeah. His audience is f***ing well over the age of, like, 23, at least average. Come on now. <laughs> like, what the f***? No, he's a... Dude, I, I love it. Before we started this podcast, we said if you took the top four streamers right now and combined them together, the actual IQ would still be below average. And that's... That's that's honestly not even surprising anymore, man. Like, honest to God, I think to be to be the number one streamer imaginable, you, you actually have to be, like, clinically stupid. You have to. Like, there's just no way. You have to be screaming. Do you think the, any the of them are, like, doing a bit? I hope. I, don't think I, I, am, I am hoping that's the case, and they're just really Caleb, the good thing about is, not hiding it. Caleb, could you do a bit that long, though, before yeah. it actually becomes you? Dude, there's no way you sure. could look up fascism and be, look that stupid. Yeah, like, even if I was I mean, I could bit, if like, I wanted to. If I yeah, wanted to look you stupid. you could do that okay, but eight hour streams every day. Could you, could you I, keep I the consistency? Could, do that. could you keep the stupid consistency, though? Because the thing is with you, Caleb, there's going to be moments where your intellectual, like, where, where, like, your brain comes out. With Aiden, it's like pure eight hours of, like, just Dude, you brain don't understand. damage. He, like, you'll have clips of, you know, the whole discussion between all the, the four juggernauts of the generation, like the intellectual yeah. titans, right? Yeah. And Aiden Ross will just space out and sit there picking his nose. Like, that is not intentional, okay? Yeah, Dude, I, I definitely I, don't think Aiden is the one that would be intentional. <laughs> I didn't well, say okay. that. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I think Aiden is definitely, I mean, he is just, he just appears to be very, very non-intelligent. I, I, no, I don't think he's not intelligent, Caleb. I think it's just Floridian. That's the thing, right? Like, I, I have been told by plenty of my Florida friends that this is par for the course out there, okay? Like, maybe maybe it's just that public education system coming at it. Maybe Aiden should have been, like, homeschooled or something. That might have been a better situation. Anyone south of San Augustine breathes through their mouth exclusively. <laughs> <laughs> so false. Who's your favorite idiot streamer? My favorite? Oh, dude. False, fuck, false, that's... false. Because for me, it's Aiden Ross. He's see, easily my favorite idiot. See, like this is such a this is such a toss up because I like it's it's like it's like a, it's like a fucking buyer's market for like you know pack of idiots on the internet. But I, I'm gonna have to drop it, man. I think Sneeko is my favorite, dude. Like Damn. every time I put it on, I, I just feel smarter. I really do. I feel genuinely better about my station in life anytime I put that stream on. I mean, I'll go ahead and say it's it's XQC. It's amazing because the man has like no control over his audience, right? Like it's mm -hmm. amazing how little control he has. So they'll, they'll just go off and he's surprised like time and time again by his own audience. It's impressive. Yeah, some, sometimes he has those like fucking Homelander moments where he looks around <laughs> yes. and he's like, oh shit, I, I, I guess I can't get away with that. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's got moments like that that I can appreciate. But like the thing is, I don't consider XGC an idiot. He's still actually talented at what he does. That's what I was going to say. I feel like his yeah. he's, he's a little played up, I think. There's a lot of instances yeah. where it's pretty clear where he's... um. I don't know if he plays it Joking. up. I think he'll, maybe he'll play up his ignorance, but I don't think he'll play up his idiocy. I think it just gets out of his hands, and at that yeah. size of an audience, like it's kind of maybe sometimes hard not for it to get out of your hands, right? I mean, but... I, I think I think he he just has like natural talent. Like he's what like a professional gamer. Like he's got to have some intellect. He's got to have some like incoherence going on. I just but appreciate. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, if I compare yeah, him to like, like watching Aiden him Ross... formulate arguments, like in actual. I don't even want to say debate settings because mm -hmm. you can't really call that like shit flinging match they call debates on Twitch, but like any sort or sort of discussion, it's like it, his words don't make sense, and not just because it's incomprehensible. Yeah, like 
there are logical fallacies in his basic sentences. Bro, Twitch debates are some of the most painful things. I'm so it's glad like, you brought that up. I'm allowed to steal money from people because right. I don't need the money. Huh? I'm, 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 yeah, I'm so glad you bring up Twitch debates, like, because I have never seen a bigger fucking case of unemployment in my entire fucking life, dude. Like, I, there, so, like, one day I was at the office, and I was like, oh, what are these debates I keep hearing so much about? I think we had Destiny on the show, um, and Destiny does debates, but Destiny's also entertaining, and Destiny can, like, keep you engaged. It's his bread and you butter, are, so he's used yeah, to it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he's been doing this for, like, a, a, fucking, a gazillion years. So, like, he knows how to, you know, keep people entertained. But then I'm on fucking Twitch, dude, and I go on, and I, I, I look at this, like, nine-viewer stream, and it's just, like, nine people sitting on the fucking stream talking about the most mundane shit. And then I'm like, oh, maybe this is just, like, a fucking 15, 20-minute thing. Nah, bitch, there's, like, nine-hour archives of this shit every fucking day. I'm like, dude, there's... You gotta be doing something better with your time than bitching about the world for nine hours a day that's, and doing um, nothing else. That's how I feel about podcasts, too. There's a lot of podcasts where people are just like, did you guys hear about the aliens in Mexico? And then dude's like, <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, you know, okay. Listen, okay. listen, listen, I'm, listen, I'm, not, I'm not self-aware here. Yeah. I'm getting uncomfortable. Uh, and, oh, yeah, dude, it's crazy. Let's, let's pull it. Let's look it up. And then they'll, like, look it up. There's a bunch of silence. Like, dude, that is so crazy. Man. No insight. No self-reflection. Yeah, no you think projection, are real? nothing, no stories, no <laughs> charisma. I mean, no I mean, listen, I hundred percent believe this shit because, like, I, I, I'll be honest. Like, why, why would I, as a human being, as an intelligent life form, okay, somewhat intelligent, sit in my fucking room here and not believe the same podcast is happening on a different fucking planet? You got to imagine the law of averages, Caleb. Something. There has got to be another intelligent species out there having the same discussion about, hey man, you know that Milky Way galaxy? I bet nobody lives there. <laughs> I, I hope they actually same call it thing. the Milky Way Mirror. galaxy. That'd be adorable. Yeah, right? like, exactly. <laughs> I, I like the, the cum squirt galaxy <laughs> over there, bro. <laughs> Yeah, what do they call us? A <laughs> swirly anus? Like, of course, <laughs> not in Milky Way. I like to believe that everyone, I like to believe galactic names are constants. You know, yes, like, yes. if you live in Andromeda, you know that's the Milky Way. They know they're Andromeda, vice versa. But, yes. like, the thing is, Andromeda is larger than us, right? So there's got to be, like, an intelligent life there. And they got to be looking at the swirly anus in the sky and be wondering, oh, shit, there's probably, you know, a and exactly there's there's listen there's got to be a lot of commonality throughout the world okay like it's, it is what it is it's like it a lot of it is just math and science okay there's probability speaking the same type of people live in the andromeda galaxies they do here okay and they're having the same discussion caleb like come on now and the first time we meet we'll probably even speak the same language exactly or we'll go to fucking war with each other which i think is the likely scenario okay i think we'll all probably die by everyone it. loses in a few million years when the andromeda galaxy crashes into ours and we all this is die. becoming a normal podcast i think i'd like to resign <laughs> <laughs> i think there's a what? saying that like at a certain age every man just thinks they deserve to have a podcast right so it's like it's not amazing so many Honestly. people are like jumping on it yeah. yeah i think people really like to hear themselves talk a lot i think that's what the main the main thing is to be honest I, to be honest yeah i fully i feel i i will admit that part about it okay sometimes i just do like speaking into the void there caleb and yeah, i get i get trashed because i don't talk enough on this podcast they're like Umbaville says one thing a podcast they always commented on the episodes that you talk a lot it's I like know, you're yeah. talking a lot <laughs> remind them that yeah. you didn't talk in other yeah, episodes yeah, yeah, enough yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I feel I feel like that's just you reading the f***ing comments on YouTube too much. At some point, you read them for 30 minutes and then you tap the f*** out of the video. <laughs> like, come I love on. reading comments, man. I love reading comments. Dude, the comments on these podcasts are either Caleb doesn't talk enough or I hate this cringy VTuber anime guy. He's so annoying. Too. I always like, like, that like that those is... comments. <laughs> Dude. I'll make that he comment myself on this video. Don't worry. Well, how, how do you, how do you guys my alts. how do you, how do you guys handle the hate shit that goes thrown your way? Then I feel like that's always fun. How do how do you guys cope with the hate that you get from other create or other like you know your your viewers? Accept it as reality and then move on. Okay, that's such a fucking like <laughs> generic 
fucking <laughs> vanilla answer. How is that, like, how is that vanilla? Fuck? Does anyone do that? No one does that. Everyone okay, ignores no. it like you. I f no, I feel like if you're I feel like if you're a creator that cares about the content, you definitely take comments to heart. You're reading that shit and you're feeling bad. Come on. That's what I mean though. Like well, why would that's what I'm saying is it, I I accept it as it, as if it's real, as if their their really? criticism is true. I don't know. In the beginning, it doesn't I didn't I say it didn't make me feel like, bad. I'd get offended. I'd like in the beginning it like pissed me off. It made me sad. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree point, with when, when I see when I see a comment Usually. that's like this annoying guy just just kept me so annoyed for like a whole hour. This anime guy, and I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, wow, I annoyed this guy for a whole hour. For <laughs> 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 that shit is a fucking, that's a bad, yeah, actually, then who's the loser? Like that guy could have fucking who's clicked the off loser? the video at any moment, but you you kept him around for a whole hour. I've never thought of it that way. That's fucking impressive, actually. It yeah, is there weird. Is a... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, false. You go no, ahead. There is absolutely something. Early on, you want as much feedback, you want to like think you can sand all the edges and be perfect for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, it's like, oh, this is the same thing over and over again. Or, I just saying, I recognize that name. I banned you on three different platforms. What are you doing here? You know, you see that. <laughs> Dude, that's always my favorite one. Like, I'm so glad YouTube tells you, like, and who's subbed to your channel and whatnot now in the comment section because sometimes there are comments like dude i've been subbed to you for 15 f years and you've changed i'm like wait a minute hold on a second you're a brand new account what do you mean 15 years? i've been making videos for 15 f years get the hell out of here no but I, I don't know like when it comes to comment stuff i still do definitely take it to heart like sometimes i'll read a comment that can sour up like my f***ing day you know Interesting. So sometimes, sometimes when a dude writes up like an entire paragraph, like I go out of my way to read the essays on, on comment sections. Mm -hmm. Like I know people meme about them, but I have a rule. Like if you write more than four sentences, I feel like I'm contractually obliged by the YouTube terms of services to read your f***ing paragraph, right? Now, yeah. granted, if dude, it's a I whole... I get such wild shit in my comments. Like sometimes I never know if they're like being ironic or not. I don't or think they like, ever are. I never think they're actually being on Okay, I just got this comment today. I actually screenshot it. It was so impressive. Uh, this screenshot was on a One Piece video that it said, Oh yeah, the Earth is flat too. Ask ChatGPT to put the continents in the one and only true God's face. You're welcome. This isn't for debate. Now I read that. One and true God's face? That way, is this schizophrenia that is we're talking about, buddy. That is schizo behavior on display in your comments there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all. That's all. That's always like, and I don't know. Comments to me, it's like I. I feel like if you don't read your comments and you don't take them to heart, like it kind of ruins the whole purpose of making videos on YouTube in the first place. Otherwise, you might as well just be in TV, right? Like so detached from the actual audience. I'm gonna I, I feel say like that was the magic here. Something that I'm gonna regret. I pay more attention to the held for review comments than the normal comments. Actually, like oh. I do that to myself because it's like, wait a second. What's the really, really out there stuff? What's going on there? What's what's getting caught? I don't think here? I've ever looked at the held for review comments in my life. I love it because I learned so many new racist words under there, dude. It's so funny. Uh, <laughs> YouTube. I have learned it's somehow so much. picking up. Yeah. <laughs> I have learned so much f***ed up slurs through the held for review section that sometimes I read it and I'm like, I like that, dude. It's it's f***ing like like dude calls me like a curry dumpster and i'm like I, you know what that's i'm gonna i'm gonna write the hell one down actually that, that hits me oh, no. <laughs> youtube is a little behind the curve i have to say yeah. on the transphobia because when the hogwarts legacy stuff was going down i had to throw in so many new terms that youtube had no understanding of just quite yet it's, it was amazing like i could not even i yeah. had to like wrap my head around it three times over and then toss it in yeah. dude, the so hogwarts legacy drama was one of my favorite dramas Honestly, I think that was one of my favorites. Just like on the, the sheer entertainment value of no one uh, willing to acknowledge that anyone on their side of the debate was doing mm -hmm. any harm when both sides were just flinging shit at each other for weeks. Well, speaking of wild like drama, actually, who here's been hit by the EDP shit? Did anybody get striked oh, by I, that stuff? Oh, I'm staying the away from that. Thank you very much. <laughs> they literally just updated the terms and service for the community guidelines for harassment. They literally just up updated it yesterday uh, to include any acts of vigilantism against someone that uh, wasn't a convicted criminal. So is Unless this... you have law enforcement there. Is this just them, like, going in too far, like, whoops, we didn't address it, so now we're never going to address it? Or does anyone here actually think it's like we're trying to cover up for this one specific guy? I think that uh -huh. YouTube is, if I'm going to be totally, like, 
and just i don't want to sound like i'm siding with anybody here but like i think it's just the thing about these investigations these sting operations i think most people are going to tell you they're just like they're they're bad legally you know because yeah if you don't have cops involved at all people get away right that's what happened with edp's first sting operation that's what happens with a lot of shitty sting operations if you don't have law enforcement the evidence you collect is so meaningless because you know if you're in a court you could argue that maybe it was all a skit and then we get into these whole like issues where you know proving this thing and wasn't a skit or entrapment it's a skit mm-hmm. it's for yeah content, it's... you know if it's like comedically handled or some bullshit like that so i think youtube's just trying a to avoid that but also i think there's been so many like legitimate like uh, to catch a predator type channels out there that are just straight up running up to people calling them like also, their... there was a story of someone uh, that was called a pedophile falsely, and then that they got harassed in real life and got assaulted in real life because of this YouTube thing, and they ended up suing YouTube for not taking action. I didn't okay. hear about that. That's, that's interesting. Like, I, didn't, I did not hear they, about that. So, what my guess is when it comes to this EDP thing, I think they took down the video just because some random guy at YouTube thought that, hey, this is, this is harassment, let's just do it. They, mm-hmm. they weren't fully up to speed. This is my guess. Tinfoil hat. And then, after it was taken down, to put the video back up is acknowledging that they're allowing this vigilantism. Yeah, so they're so trying to set point, some they precedent. they just have to okay. stick to their guns. Yeah. That, that's my guess. But the problem yeah. is, is like, well, then they have to continually enforce it against everybody, but then it's, it looks like selective enforcement if they missed it's like one video, right? Like, if Charlie has a video, but everyone else got their videos taken down, then it looks like selective enforcement, right? So it's like yeah, a no-win. If they take down Charlie's video, then he makes another video. <laughs> then they get very unhappy. Yeah, th- that's it. But th- I also feel like that's not good, though. Like, you can't just selectively favorite some creators no, over the other, not. you know? Like, it-, it shouldn't be okay if, like, I don't know. Caleb, did you-, you made an EDP video on that sting recently? Did yours get taken down or did you remove it? It's still up. Okay. Yeah, I removed mine just because uh, I didn't really want to deal with the fucking strike issue. Um, but honestly... I, I just find it really fucked up that some people are ahead for showing the exact same footage we did, but like right. YouTube somehow says we're okay and they're not like that. Like the thing about it, because it, it almost feels like it's Twitch in a way, because Twitch has that issue where like I feel like there is selective favoritism for some of the top creators, and I don't really like that on YouTube. I kind of like that everyone's treated a little bit equally under the TOS, like the rule of law. Uh, if you don't have that, then it gets kind of weird. I also find it kind of odd that like people get hit. And Gideon says that there's an actual, like, report on this, like an actual police case, and they're still not willing to back off, you know? Like, if this if this footage does as a whole contain cops, then it shouldn't just get taken down. So it's such a... Yeah, but it didn't contain cops, I think. That was the whole issue. If there was actual law enforcement there, I don't mm-hmm. think they would have taken the video down. No, but the, but the thing is, this video is, like, part of a bigger video by Gideon, which actually has cops in it. So, I mean, I guess if that could be sent to YouTube to prove that this is not just, you know... There was also a, a this harassment. one guy that got his whole channel terminated because of it. Aside from the strike. Did you see that? I don't know what the f*** happened with that guy's channel. I saw it. I could only imagine if there's like maybe 10 videos that he made about EDP or whatever. Because yeah, it's, it's kind of weird because sometimes like, because I've had people reach out to me. It's like, hey, how do I get rid of the strike? And I'm like, okay, in your video, did you call EDP a, like, did you make fun of his weight? <laughs> Quiet. Oh what? my god, you are joking! Come on. <sighs> well, okay, well the thing is, you can't make fun of somebody for their is- intrinsic attributes. You know, you like, you can't f***ing go on YouTube. A- an intrinsic no, 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 not that. You can't make fun of their weight or like appearance or something. So if you made a joke like that and YouTube took you out for harassment, technically you broke the f***ing guidelines Bro. on that. So I'm like, that's why I have to cut out some of those f***ing jokes. Because I'm like, yo, I would love to call, I would love to drop some easy-ass bombs on some people. But the thing is, you can't, did, per did the you guidelines. See, I, there was this one commentary channel. I, keep, I don't know who he is. He just shows up on my feed because all the other little commentary channels like shitting on him. He made this whole video talking about how EDP is sexist. And I'm thinking, like, really, man? You <laughs> He's a yeah, pedo- that, that's allegedly the, a pedo- yeah. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the real crime right there. That's the nail in the coffin, really. <laughs> Just trying to get into that yeah. SEO some way or other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. You know, again, this is surprising because again, like this is so selective. It's like, wait, this is YouTube. We don't want you to be Twitch. We would have expected this from Twitch. YouTube, what's going on yeah. here? I, I'm like, listen, I, I I like Sting Operation videos. Like sometimes I'll put that shit on there, right? But like. 
it, there is a lot of creators out there. There's like there's this one sting operation video where the dude like catches one of these Sony like executives. So the so there's a story of the Sony executive he was caught interacting with like a young boy or something allegedly, and the guy goes up to his house and like nine o'clock at night, dark outside, bangs on his door, starts screaming that he's a and shit. And I'm like, there's a big difference between stuff like that and then like just Chris Hansen, you know, like to catch a predator, like professionally well done. Um, I feel like if you're going to cover this kind of stuff, it, it, you should be obligated to involve the cops first, right? But like, even the Catch the Predator yeah. has effectively come to an end, right? Because even that got out of hand on one of their cases, right? Like, it got really bad. I mean, really it, when, bad. When, yeah. the, when the show was running initially, the what was it like? Uh, it ended because somebody took their own life because of that. It was a whole Bro. standoff. It got really dark really quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, or do we actually want YouTubers to get in on this? So... Am I empathetic to, like, YouTube not wanting this content on their platform? Of course, of course. But the way they're going about it, like, in almost like a weird back-channel way, is never going to play out right for them, ever. Like, if, whether it be this or any kind of other subject they don't want. Yeah. I mean, like, the thing about it is, like, I, I, always, I always get worried because what about other crimes, right? Like, people who get, like, when you cover somebody scamming their audience, right, financially and you're like covering them if the cops aren't involved but like you look down the 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 rabbit hole and like come out with pretty conclusive evidence like are they going to remove your videos because technically you're harassing somebody else that, or that's not? what i like, was thinking also at that point yeah. does that count as vigilantism coffee zella's yeah. uh, enemy number one at that point right <laughs> like, yeah basically like, right like off and off no yeah, but like, really if you could never you know allude to the fact that someone might be committing a crime uh without like an actual conviction that's really dangerous. Well, and that means that the news channels shouldn't be allowed to do that either, by the way. Yeah. And then we have other instances it's... where it's just like, well, there is no crime, but what are the ethics of this? So I'll let you guys know right now going on in the VTuber scene. We have a VTuber agency out there that wasn't... I think I know what you're talking about. Wasn't, wasn't really, like, uh, blowing up in a big way, but they were known. And they came out last week and said, hey, everybody, hey, everybody, hey, hey, everybody, hey, we got this big notice. Uh, we're gonna give it. We're gonna be. Uh, <clears throat> we've hired someone who's underage. Okay, guys, we just wanted to let you know. And it's like, wait, what? Hold on, what's going on here? So that was immediately like a, a big thing that set off a wait, bunch they of just, they just they just they just stealth dropped that. Like, yeah, yeah. They, 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 I don't know why they thought it, they had to do that. But they were they trying did, to be and... quote unquote transparent. Like right, they 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 probably oh. thought like it was gonna come out in, somehow, anyways. Mm -hmm. If yeah, there I don't want to speculate too much, but it is possible this particular individual, this underage individual, had been part of some other smaller groups before. So there's actually a history to this. However, that's just speculation. It seemed like they were trying to say in a bunch of legalese that they were just trying to be transparent about it, and uh, you know, unsurprisingly, it blew up in their face. But in my comments on YouTube, there were certain uh, people that were like, well, if it's legal, it's fine by me. And it's kind of like, okay, well, I guess there are a lot of people that are just by the letter of the law, right? Like, yeah, it, it's if also that's weird, because wasn't she, this VTuber, wasn't she, like, doing content that was very, like, flirty? Like, yeah, extremely I mean, she flirty was, content? Well, not only that, but again, it's kind of, <laughs> you say it's unfair to those that she's going to be debuting. She's debuting this weekend, and she's debuting mm -hmm. with, like, five others okay so that means they're all going to start their whole streaming and content creation together right that's no. what that means for vtubers but what that also means is she's alongside others that are not underage and they are no let's be let's be honest they're not acting um child friendly age appropriate right so they they're uh, you know they have models that show off transparency for, to see their bras and, you know, they're talking about how sexy they want to be this way or that way. But then again, we do have, as you said next, the actual underage individual who, you know, is a teenager. And she's barking at them and she's saying how hot they are and things like that, too. So it's a yeah, whole it's a odd really thing. Weird Bro, I almost feel like just hearing that, this violates so much legalities around, like, holy fuck. I feel kind of disgusted just, like, well, I am disgusted listening in on it. Like, I'm surprised that that's so... That they're Brother, willing to go you forward. Ain't heard with it. Nothing. The they VTuber were... community is great. I don't know how more of the VTuber drama stuff doesn't get into the mainstream by how wild some of it is. I think it's just because, like, you know, it's a, it's still a niche. Like, it's still a pretty big niche. 
Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's insular, right? Like, it feels like we, we, uh, we try to act like we take care of our own problems and things like that. But yeah. I don't know how long that's going to really last. And on top of this, I'll, I'll, I'll qualify just a few things. Like, um, they're stating, yes, we have her, her parents and guardians' permission. But again, if oh, this is speculative, but if this is the same person we're talking about, they've been doing this since they were 14, let alone potentially since they are potentially 17 now. What the f***? Their Dude, parents may have is... signed off on this not once, not twice, but three times at this point. Dude, now, that is, that wow. is like, really... <laughs> that. I feel like it needs to just be a full investigation on that. That's so... Ugh, They're dirty. taking the angle like, hey, uh, you know, it's show business. Uh, you know, we want to foster her career. Uh, but again, it's just surprising. The, uh, let me let me let me say one more thing. Let me say one more thing. The big boys, the big agencies in Japan, they used to do this. They used to do this, and they, <laughs> that is the least surprising thing I've heard all day. Because they have the honest. idol culture, and uh, yeah. you know they, they they went young. They don't do this anymore. <laughs> they found out it's actually a giant headache, and um, you know love love those talents. They're all grown up now, and they're cool, but. Uh, they don't do it anymore, so it's not some checkmate comment to say like, "Well, they did it before." Well, yeah, but you're ignoring the point where they don't do it anymore, right? Because okay. of all and the also just issues because it. it's uh, it's something that's accepted in idol culture, it doesn't mean it's perfectly healthy. Well, so this almost sounds so similar to like in child actors nowadays. You know, like when parents get involved, their kids go out into the fucking big boy acting world, and, uh, and you they know, always turn out great. You know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, you know, they're famously turning see, out to, you know. I think the biggest difference is when it comes to child actors, there are safeguards in place. Not good ones, mind you, but at least they exist. Labor laws like, and such, yeah. Yeah, labor laws, and uh, obviously they can't be sexualized in any way. That's, that's like the ultimate no-no, right? Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to making content online and doing whatever the hell you want and getting into Discord calls with whoever you want, it's really not regulated. It's like the crypto casino gambling equivalent of child exploitation. I'm pr like, there, there, there's no like laws for like even in who's that one channel, the kids channel, the really famous one, Ryan's Toy Ryan's Reviews, right? Ryan's Toy Reviews. Like, there's, 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 not, boy. there's not even like rules for that guy, right? Like, there's no like laws in place to like protect Ryan from even his parents, right? Other than like basic child labor stuff, because it's yeah, not sure. like. YouTube is is like film and television are legally treated like that, right? Like you can't just can throw your kid out, you know, into into. I, I guess you can, but YouTube is like a little bit more free with that kind of shit. But also, like the modern thing is, is like though? you're a streamer. Like, this is happening in real time too, right? You're like it's one thing to say you're like you know you're doing recordings and throwing you're, it out you're there. You're in a sexy anime model and you're talking to chat and chats, you know, <laughs> it's being real time. Chat. It's happening. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, if you're dressing up all skimpy, talking to chat, 99% of those comments are going to be horny. So you got to think as a parent, why the f*** would I even throw my kid into that? Like, Parents the money don't earning? know this stuff. Parents have no idea. Uh, see, th this is where I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe parents don't know that shit. I refuse to believe if you're a parent throwing your child into this, you have no idea that that's going to happen. Like, you, you're really telling me that somebody, like, you're going to dress up skimpy on the internet or, like, even d digitally, and you go out and perform, that people aren't going to act weird? Like, people aren't going to, like, especially towards, like, fucking just women in general on the internet, you know? But you see, she's not dressing up skimpy in real life. It's just her anime personas just being skimpy. No one would be attracted to that. It, it does really smack of, and especially even in their statements, like, hey, guys, uh, no not safe for work content or comments or art of her and it's kind of like wait you're expecting internet strangers to abide by your immediately made up rules here like i don't know if that's a good expectation and there's yeah, other bro, people that are like they're, they're in solitaire at this point okay of course there's gonna be <laughs> was it even a good anyway. idea to point out she's underage like in in, in the interest of transparency yeah, that, that's yes actually, yeah but wait, does it that's paint a target on her like no, you know, but, that's but, it do you? I, I think the the wildest part is that they hired her. Why? Why would they do that? Forget the moral stuff. But don't they? Didn't they think it would blow up in their face? I really Wait, want to know what her. If you her... get hired, you're playing a character. So why can't your character be over the age of eighteen? I guess right. Or like just completely obfuscate that entire. Oh, I guess rather. it's still ethically f up that you hired. Why not just hire an adult? Like if you're not showing your face, there why not just hire people, a fucking adult? There are enough people that would take this spot that aren't children. Correct. You don't. Like, 
the fact that they needed to hire a child for this is crazy. Yeah. I, bet, I mean, I again, bet their contracts look like hell, too. I bet they're f***ing over the kids in their contracts anyways. This isn't hard. I have some co-hosts, uh, so I ran some auditions myself, and it was, you know, 18 plus because I didn't want the headache of any of this. And it was real simple. Mm -hmm. I brought them on. Uh, and old, old, trust me, I had some auditions that were clearly from children, but you know, passed on those clearly. And then it was real simple. Okay, but also like, the major difference is I'm sure you signed a contract with them and you got their legal information and, uh, right. you were able so to know. That's it. Yeah. I crossed my eyes and dotted my T's. <laughs> I, uh, absolutely was like, Hey, I need a photo ID of you. We're going to do a webcam call. Cause I need to make sure your voice matches your face and I need to see date of birth. And it was just that simple. It's not actually that hard to do this stuff, actually. Yeah, but, I mean, you're expecting much out of these. Like, I feel like that just shows the companies, like, they, it's fine to have goofy fun at a company, but, like, sometimes you got to, like, f***ing stop. You got to, like, you know, be professional. And it just seems like involving children like this is not... It's not even close to professional at all, and I'm I'm surprised how it's not even picked up at all. Like, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, and I'm actually really f***ing shocked... At, at every see what they talk involved. about in the private Discord servers. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is there leaks it, of that? It's gross. There are. I think the the wildest one I saw... I don't know if you, you even saw this controversy falls. Did you see the whole Glitchtail VTuber controversy? Uh, parts like of it. Glitchtail? Yeah. No. So Glitchtail is an Undertale alternate universe, uh, basically. And it has a large fandom. And they... <laughs> they have, like, this whole lore. And the main bad guy in Glitchtail is... You know, a child fitting the Undertale theme. However, as you can, as you know, anything that gets popular has. So you have these Discord servers sharing, you know, this child Jesus character. Jesus Christ, bro! Uh, what and the? F you've had people in this server that literally got groomed by other people in the server and grew up and then proceeded. To groom children in that super server. It's just like a, a never evolving. Like it's, it's surprising that it happened in one Discord server in such a short amount of time. This is like the other thing. It's like companies who do really stupid shit. Like it. It sounds. This is exactly what's gonna happen. Gonna happen with that Roblox dating shit. By the way, too, is exact True. same thing that's gonna happen when you have kids involved and adults involved in that situation. F***ed up stuff always happens. Seventeen yeah. plus dating experiences. Yeah. I cannot believe. Wait, there's seventeen plus. That's what they marked. I Thousands can't of believe, adults will yeah. meet for the first time in Roblox dating experiences and subsequently form real life relationships. Is how I they're pitching it. I cannot believe that they're putting dating into fucking Roblox. That is like literally like putting in adult speed dating into like a fucking Montessori school. Like a fucking, like it's insane. It's just. How maybe, it's a, maybe it's a sting operation. Listen, may, maybe it's the feds. Probably is. I, honestly, I, I could see that happen, but it's like, dude, the, like Roblox comes out. For anybody that doesn't know what Roblox is, if you're living under a rock, <laughs> Roblox is one of the most popular games for children, primarily worldwide. targeted towards children, okay, worldwide. Um, it has such prominent players um, like Kim Kardashian's kid, uh, you know, who... In, Aaron Trump. Like, Baron, wait, Baron Trump plays Roblox? Are you serious? That's what people. That was a meme for a while, yeah. Okay, I mean, I, I listen. I believe it. You know, I, we, like a lot of people play Roblox. Baron Trump probably did. Um, one of the wildest clips out of Roblox was like, if you don't remember, Kim Kardashian's kid. Like, uh, Kim Kardashian had a famous tape, and like some dude on Roblox was selling that sex tape to her kid on <laughs> Roblox. It was a tough situation. The wildest what is, stuff. And this kid grew up to be Aiden Ross. Ladies and gentlemen, he, like, <laughs> he goes I, the, the clip was hilarious. The clip was f***ed up, hilariously f***ed up. He goes up to like their mom, like Kim, and is like, "Mom, mom, look, they got a video." She like looks at the iPad. She's like, <laughs> "Like, like, just dips out." But that's the thing. That's the primary audience of Roblox, right? Like, it's a f***ing... like if you ever seen gameplay of Roblox, you can tell that it's not exactly appealing to adults. So they got dating, and it's weird because they got seventeen plus dating, which is like. Why the f*** did they just make that 18 plus to begin with? Like, I don't understand where the 17 came out of. But I guess the yeah, number 18 plus choice. just looks really bad. But, <laughs> like, why even bring dating to f***ing Roblox? Like, this used to be a game where it was, and I'm not kidding, it was it was called the digital version of Saudi Arabia for a while because you couldn't f***ing hold hands. Like, they had Roblox, like, Vice and Virtue Police <laughs> around every corner, okay? It's like, oh you hold God. hands, you get intimate in Roblox, you get in the f***ing band. That's how it worked. 
and now they're bringing like speed dating scenarios. It's like, let's go. I think it's because every app this day, uh, these days wants to be the everything app. Right? Like, oh, we want to yeah. do it all. We want to have video. We want to have audio. We want to have dating. We want to have we'll everything be monetized. And YouTube, processing. And Twitter, and dating, and, and prostitution all in one. Dude, dude, it's funny because, like, I logged into Facebook so long ago and I saw the dating tab, and Sorry I'm like, this is, this is just filled with prostitutes. <laughs> like, prostitution is rife on this map, probably. But it, it's just like, not like, okay. I get it. Every app can be Tinder, okay? Every app is allowed to be Tinder. There's something that stops you from doing it. It's a perfect data processing tool. Why the f*** does a kid's game need to have a Tinder subsection in it? That's what I'm money. asking, right? How much money do you think they're going to generate in f***ing Roblox dating, though? A lot. I don't know. Diab Diablo 4 <laughs> on mobile made over $300 million, so... Yeah, but, you know. yeah, but like, that was based, that was coasting off of a good game. Roblox isn't even a good game. Okay, but, <laughs> but it has a lot that. of people on it. That's, so, that, so, okay. that's actually what le I think leads to it is it's like they just see a large user base and is like, well, let's do something with that user base, right? Let's, br let's shift it. Yeah, they're bringing in like, so the way that they verify this is so f***ing hilarious. It's like, it's kind of like how P verifies. Actually, P is a little bit better now. Um, so the way that you do it is you send in a selfie with your driver's license. And I'm kind of wondering like, what happens if like a parent asks like if a kid asks their parents like hey mom dad could you do this for me because they need to get like the battle pass or something and this is what they're doing parents might even just say yes to that and like i swear if that happens once there's gonna be one kid in a sea of like piles on roblox okay like groomers and shit on there like i don't even understand what the contingency is to stop that like as somebody like if i was running this company i wouldn't even bring that into the like boardroom and be like dating no, let's just focus on making more games or something. I'm looking at the uh, official documentation uh, authored by a certain EDP-445. What the? <laughs> How is he here of all places? He's everywhere. Yeah, I, I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like this is just like the who the f can make the dumbest idea of the company contest, and they just fucking rolled with it. Like that's. And they were you... like, you know what? We could one-up Blizzard. Gentlemen, have you seen any, what's happening with Unity? Have you seen any of that? I have yeah, seen what's happening with the that. Unity engine, so... Dude, what happened this week? Every gaming company collectively came together to c compete for the worst idea. So Un Unity is so f***ing funny. So Unity, for anybody, like, we... The thing with Unity is we've all played a Unity game. That's how f***ing yeah. popular this game engine is, right? Some of the most popular meme games on YouTube... The most popular meme game when I started was Slender, which was a Unity game. Yeah. And, you know, this is an engine that pretty much everyone makes. There's good games that come out of it. There's a lot of shitty games that end up on Steam for a dollar through Unity. So what they've introduced is, like, pay per download. So basically, the more people that <laughs> download your game, you have to pay Unity money. So I think the rate is, like, 20 cents per download. It's so dumb. It is. So yeah, that's right. Twenty per install, and uh, if you're on some higher ones, it can be cheaper. But yeah, twenty cents per install. So I just want to. I just want to remind the audience now that they've heard that and these rules go into effect. Any game that you hate that runs Unity, just f***ing install it over and over that's, and that's over again. That's the gimmick. You install the same game twenty times and. Uh... You and know, it's like it's like for it. there's this meme on 4chan where it's like, how do we make Nintendo go out of money? And it's just pirate their f***ing game. And it's like, you just take 60 bucks out of Nintendo's coffers over and over per download. <laughs> and this now is it's real. Fun. Yeah, now this it's is, a real meme. This is way, probably going to cause... Uh, go ahead. Well, we're just talking about big games like Genshin. You know, like, if, like it, at a point, does Ho Hoyoverse just look at this and was like... No, screw that. We're going to buy Unity. <laughs> We're actually just going to buy the entire Unity instead of paying it like this. Like, does it get that or big? Start switching game engines. What were you saying, Caleb? I was going to say that uh, it's probably just going to cause more, just like the 90s and early 2000s, how all pretty much every big AAA game had its own engine. Yeah. Um, or they used like one proprietary one and it was all like based around publishers and, and devs. It's probably going to go back to that model, which I feel like that would be good anyways because games would look more different. Um, and there would just be a lot more, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's how you, that's, that's the, I'm kind of glad this is happening. So people stop using unity. Hopefully it happens with unreal. I just want to oh, see you, more. Like, <laughs> like, I, I know what you mean, Caleb. Cause like back in the days of the 360 PS3, it actually was like that, you know, like yeah. Call of Duty had its own engine. Battlefield had frostbite. Yeah. 
Um, a lot of games, even during that era, were learning, were on Unreal Engine, and there was like mm-hmm. that really samey look to it. Yes, like you could you could put on Gears of War and you could put on like Batman Arkham, and you could be like, oh, there's yeah. the same. I effect. agree. Yeah, and it's kind of the same thing nowadays too. Like a lot of games run on Unreal Four or Five and shit, and mm-hmm. it's like very few like. Let me like I, I like when it comes to certain different engines like Red Dead Two. Like I loaded that up a uh, day ago, still looks beautiful. Rockstar's Insane. own engine, you know. So I'd be I, interested. I, I feel like Go it's ahead. just inevitable because the same problem has happened with uh, like Rockstar and EA. Like whenever anything that the, if you're selling something, it's just gonna get they're just gonna get so popular and they just have to keep making money. And the same shit's gonna happen with Unity, and the same shit's gonna happen if it's a like a public thing. That is like a commodity in, in essence. It's going to continue to get more and more expensive and less reasonable uh, as the demand goes up because it's just like how businesses run. So yeah. infinite profit. I think I think it's just expected. Honestly, I don't. I'm, I'm not surprised at all. I have good I mean, news. Uh, this will be the end yeah. of VTubers because all the popular VTuber apps actually use this <laughs> to run. Unity. They're all on yeah. Unity, so this is going to be it for oh, them. Crap. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is, like with Unity, is like what Unity doesn't realize is like they're not like. There's still competition in that game engine space, right? Like, mm-hmm. I know that as soon as it's dropped, Gadot, right? Like, oh, you guys yeah, know dude. that game engine? 100%. They, uh, that Wonder started Woman? trending. So, Gadot, it's like another game engine that's open source, free, and everything. Oh, I wow. think that one. Yep. I think, actually, if I'm not mistaken, feel free to correct me in the comment section, viewers, but even Tesla uses Gadot in their cars for the visualizations. So, when you're God, driving that's around. That's so scary. I think they do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Gadot, well, get, well, Caleb's looking up. Gadot is a very popular game engine, open source. It's a very good competitor to Unity. A lot of those developers came out and said, yeah, f- Unity, switch to this. So, yep. honestly, I'm really glad it's that Unity cool. did this. Unity did this, so like people are just switching to better alternatives anyways. Because Yeah, it's like yeah. The, the PvE experience in Overwatch 2. Yeah, yeah it's everyone, like just... Everyone's been loving that. Yeah, like any reason to switch off from shit that's like commercialized, like it's designed to wholly turn profits and go yeah. to something that's more open designed, something that everyone contributes to is, is better. <laughs> so honestly, this Unity information super f***ing good because develop, like even if they backtrack on this, they have people a just bit. know. Yeah. Even yeah. but even if you backtrack, people just know what it's all about. I was reading somewhere where they were like, "What about people who have like Xbox Game Pass, right?" Like the Microsoft service, they were expecting Microsoft to fit the bill. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's gonna f***ing happen. Microsoft's not gonna write you a f***ing check if you start doing that kind of shit. That's just, like, yeah, they're this They're walking all that back, and it's, it's just hilarious yeah. because, well, the all other funny thing about all this is it's coming from the CEO of Unity right now used to be the CEO of EA. Of EA. And uh, dude, no! that's what I'm saying. This is the same that's guy. literally no! proves my point. <laughs> this is the that same guy. That proves my f***ing point. Okay, let me give you a quote from this guy when he was with EA. When you are six hours into playing Battlefield and you run out of ammo in your clip and we ask you for magazine. a dollar to reload. Yeah, he said clip instead of magazine because he doesn't know what that is. And we <laughs> ask you it's a, a mag. dollar to it's not reload. A clip, you man. You're uh, really wait, uh, not very price sensitive at that point in time. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. He was the CEO that was oh like, could God, we have dude. gamers? A to reload. That was him. This is yeah, the actual imagine, CEO. Could, could you imagine Dude. playing like a fucking game of Call of Duty or something, and like in the middle of like a fucking search and destroy, you dump your magazine, and then you start, and it's like, oh wait, ninety nine cents, please, to buy and buy more mags. It's like those, you know, the arcade games that you played in when you yeah. were a kid before you realized they were a massive ripoff, and mm-hmm. like you have to insert, you know, twenty five cents to shoot another. Yeah. And Dude. those games were massively difficult, so that you could just keep chucking in and quarters and quarters and quarters yeah so yeah yeah. honestly like it's the the fact that like i don't know how like this is like when again it it, i feel like if you're running a company you should know what your company is about right like (laughs) no but you know what i mean like that's that's so old thinking dude dude. you know know, i wish every company (laughs) truly lived up to their capitalist mentality of let's actually make the most money by just keep making good products but yeah. they don't. Yeah. They take shortcuts. Why? It's Get into yeah. the dark side. I don't understand. <laughs> it's all about making the well, most uh, money the quickest, right? Like, it's quarter look, by quarter thinking. Dude, it I, just makes me uh, so sad that we have all the Disney remakes. Maybe like, it's, wh- maybe, why are they doing this? Maybe it's because we look at it from the outside looking in. Maybe, it, maybe that shit does work, you know? Like, I've always... 
like I always like kind of say it that everything on the internet is like a very vocal minority. Like all the outrage you see on the True. internet does not reflect reality. So it's like I know people bitch on Madden every year. Like I shit on Madden all the time. I don't know who the f buys Madden. People do because that's what Dude, they're doing every year. It's a funny bit just to add to what you're saying. I was watching some. I was looking some highlight, looking at some football highlights last night, and. Yeah. Uh, my cousin, you know, met Clint. Uh, I was looking up Madden. He's like, don't do it. Don't do it. I was like, Madden 2024. I wonder if it's any good this year. <laughs> He's like, don't. Don't do it. <laughs> Every year I buy Madden and play it for one hour. Every single year. Wait, you This year I didn't. This year I did. So is, proud is it of like you, a man. ritual for you? Is this like me it and is. Call of Duty? <laughs> Dude, I just love I love playing a franchise in football for some reason in a football game and then just and then not playing anymore. It's just it's worth it for just one moment. I love football, so it's like I don't know, I'm dumb. Oh go, sorry, okay. go ahead, Mood. I cut you off. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 I do you do you uh, We need someone in the comments I, I to tell like... Caleb he he needs to talk less I've... in the podcast. No, I, I, <laughs> you know what I wanna you know what I wanna do? I wanna I wanna like I wanna now I wanna fly down to your place and like film like a intervention video where I show you the last twenty Madden games and show you all the times oh. that they cut quarters <laughs> and reused assets. But <laughs> that's that's they, it, it's like that's the lack they of options. Cause look, you got yeah, you have football fans, you got basketball fans. Look right now espn nba basketball 2k uh well 24 like the most recent mm -hmm. one is the second lowest rated steam game of all time like they know oh, it's huge. bad the players know that. it's bad but they don't have options they, they can't well what, did, what are, did you see uh, how basketball games that they got right speaking of that the game Velma of sports games speaking of that game the nba 2k 24 how it's worst rated do you know how do you know what the microtransactions look like for that game bro don't even say you have to reload it every time you want to throw the freaking ball you have to pay a quarter i don't know okay how much how much is the most expensive microtransaction just come up with the price 39.99 yeah go with that Caleb, what do you think is the most expensive 249.99 Okay, you're a little too high because it's one forty nine ninety nine. Okay, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, I crow about that. There's no That's a macro transaction. That. That's what I'm saying. So like, that's just a transaction. <laughs> <laughs> that's a collector's edition. What is that? So uh, actually, actually, now that now that we've done this, I actually want to go to like the store and see what the most expensive version of this game is to see if somehow yes, actually, guys, no. The most expensive version of the game is cheaper than the most expensive microtransaction <laughs> on the store. That's awesome. There's <laughs> nothing I would, uh, game. Dream come true. I would like this. I would like to take this opportunity to announce, like like uh, Todd Howard announced Elder Scrolls Six in 2018. Yeah. I would like to take this opportunity to announce that I've been working on a game for two years, Yo. and it probably it won't come out for four more years. But yeah. I've been working on a game for f two years now. That's exciting. And it Real. It's going to cost a lot of. It's going to cost a lot of money, and there's going to be a lot of microtransactions. But it's going to be good. Uh, listen, as long as you have well, battle passes, when are we and microtransactions, a, a I'm gotcha fucking ready. Because I think uh, gotcha games are a pathway to unregulated gambling. Uh, Dude, legal. I was so disappointed. They really okay. So first off, uh, you guys been playing that Starfield game? Oh yeah. I haven't. I okay. saw that they had pronouns, and I was just like, <laughs> Yeah, you already <laughs> tapped out on that. Actually, good job. <laughs> I tried no, to so mod it out. They wouldn't let I, me. Uh, so I like that game up until the space exploration. I think the space exploration is really fucking boring, but I love the side quests. Cool. I did the pirate one. Good fucking games. Like it, in that regards, good Bethesda title. Okay. Oh yeah. That was also so, one of my favorite dramas lately, by the way. The pronoun shit is so wild. The, the pronoun like, drama. Well, people okay, so on that. Yeah. There was a oh, few people man. that corrected me and said it wasn't the pronouns. It was apparently because there was a clone in the game that was like the clone of a man, but she was a woman. Um, which, again, didn't oh, baffle so me at all. Worse. True, well, it true. didn't baffle me because people made it sound like it was some transgender stuff. But I'm like, you guys do realize clones are not 100% clones, right? Like... You can't have like clone DNA of somebody. Like they even describe it in the game. It's like I'm a clone, but not entirely. Like I'm different. It's just like I've got similarity. I'm like, guys, it's not that big of an issue. Like I played that same part, but that reaction that guy had was just. It was I feel great. like it was. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a meme. Like it, it, was, it was a 2023 it was famous fucking oh, I love meme. That. that was like uh, everything yeah. that you saw when Trump got elected, all in like one little little Dude, man. I like Starfield, by the way. A lot. I, li I like the side quests on it. I really do like the... I did the Crimson Fleet one, 
And I think that's probably my favorite Bethesda like side quest I've done in a long time. It, like, did, I don't it know had if you did that one. I haven't done it yet. I've been saving it. Uh, Dude, I love just I'm picturing like that angry egg. Ink pronouns. This, sacred, this is the left sacred cow. It's a sacred cow. <laughs> that's what that guy said. It's a sacred it. cow. I'll head up the game in a year when it has the mods, right? Like, because that's the Bethesda thing. They actually released the actual content creation sandbox, mm -hmm. and it just gets See, I, yeah. wild after I just, that. I, I just really like that. I love that pirate side quest, the Crimson Fleet. Like, that probably is one of my favorite, like, moments of the game. And uh, I actually really like how the side quests are almost like their own full-on campaigns. Like, they actually they really, really flesh that shit out. Yeah. Um, the They're game? each like six hours, four to six hours, something like that. Yeah, yeah. There was one that uh, Reugen Corporation where you're doing like yeah. actual corporate espionage. Mm -hmm. Like it is a, fucking, it is a good Bethesda game. I just feel like where they f***ed up on it was like the the space travel shit. Like because it really feels like I'm not doing that as much. Like when I land on a planet, it just feels like it's a barren wasteland with three points of interest that are all kind of repeated over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, the outpost stuff is. I mean, it, again, it's not really capturing me on the same level as I would expect No Man's Sky, but it's not that game, you know? Like, when I think about, like, the side quest, I'm like, that's what I'm there for. Like, I love that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely, I, when I'm playing, I can feel like, oh, man, I wish it was, you know, I wish it was the perfect game. Uh, mm -hmm. But, like, I would rather play Starfield than No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is pretty good, but, like, it's also just entirely pointless. Hot like, uh, hot know, take. Either, uh, I guess, is that a hot take? It's so hot. I mean, like, No Man's Sky is one of those games where, like, you do turn off your brain or put on a podcast while you're playing it. I don't do that with Starfield. Uh, I actually am super yeah. immersed. I like, like uh, Bethesda games. I just think they're good. And I think there's, it's... Uh, there's something about Bethesda games. It's like you can't quite put it into words. You just kind of have to experience it, right? It's like a mm -hmm. confluence like, of things together yeah. that is just yeah. never done by anybody else. You, you know my favorite Bethesda moment? Like, I feel like this is a great point actually to to bring up i think we all have a bethesda moment but one of my favorites was so oblivion elder scrolls 4 i killed a guy by mistake in that game and uh i didn't i wasn't paying attention to the hud i went to sleep and i woke up and this dude in a black like shroud was like hey you want to join the assassins guild and i'm like uh yeah yeah, I do. <laughs> and it threw me into this whole quest line, the Dark Brotherhood, where, like, eventually I came across, like, a serial killer den, because I don't want to spoil the storyline, but you have to, like, track a serial killer down, and you're, like, looking through, like, the serial killer lairs, like, books that are, like, I must feed mother or some crazy shit. I'm like, dude, that's my favorite Bethesda moment, where, like, out of nowhere, it just, like, throws you into some cool part of the game that normally other games kind of like guide you into you it know would have like a build just... up. yeah yeah it would have a build yeah. up of some kind that, yeah like for bethesda it's just like oh there's an assassin guild you're part of it congratulations now you're yeah the that's story. i do think that uh the, my biggest complaint with starfield is there's not enough whimsy it's like it, it's not really as crazy as uh as just as goofy and as as insane as the fallout series and the elder scroll series um, because both those are insane. I mean, that's, that's like the whole point. They're both like really like larger than life. But I will say the magic that Bethesda games create, I think Starfield has definitely captured that. And when like what you said, uh, false when when mods come out, I think but I think Starfield's maybe the most effective sandbox like ever made in a game. Um, just because yeah. there is a infinite, not literally infinite, but there is going to be someone will make a planet that is Skyrim. Uh... Someone will make. Like, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. That, that's, but the thing is, I haven't played enough of the game. Maybe that exists, because I was kind of thinking when I was loading it, I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if they actually did have... They just loaded yeah, the entire Skyrim into planet? it. Like, <laughs> no, they this, will. I mean, why wouldn't they? <laughs> like, imagine if they had Tamriel and you could land in Dude, Whiterun, just like the ruins of it or something. I think they'll do that. Yeah. I really think so. I, I think the, the conversations are good. The main quest is pretty weak, but I don't think it's meant to be strong. I think the best part of the game, like you said, is the side quests. Yeah, so, like... It's a good game. Right, I like yeah, it's it. it's I think it's a pretty fucking like the thing about it too is like it's a new Bethesda universe, so I'm just glad to see something that also isn't Fallout or Elder Scrolls for the millionth time. Yeah. You know? So it's I mean, hey, I give real props to Bethesda, you know, coming out with a new IP and honestly yeah. like fucking it's pretty bug free for me so far, which pretty is good. Surprising! Like mm -hmm. I've had one bug in the game so far. Like some dude was levitating, fell down. I'm like, yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah. And if you if you uh, install the Starfield UI mod, the one that's out right now with the script extender, 
um, it fixes a lot of the annoying shit with the inventories, and that's like the biggest yeah. L in my opinion in the game. Like when I'm playing, I'm just like, oh god, I gotta fucking organize this shit again. So because <laughs> I pick everything up, stick it right in my butt. Oh, I'm a loot goblin. Yeah, yeah I have goblin. to have it all. There is no way I'm going through these games. Like that's that's me yeah. right now with Boulder's game. Did that's you, why did, I'm taking a million years to be also uh, game three. Did you see the physics in Starfield are insane? Oh yeah, dude, they're pretty. It's so, pretty impressive. <laughs> this guy was in space and he spawned mm -hmm. like a ten thousand milk cartons and like the way that they interacted with each other. I'm like, this is being like. It's that, pretty like, impressive. Like, okay, listen, I like people are like too many loading screens. I get that, but if, yeah, if like you took part. out the loading screens, you wouldn't have those cool physics moments where you could load up yes. 30,000 potatoes in like a cabin and, and like open it. Also, another thing is like a lot of people were complaining that the like the 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 planets are not contiguous and that you can't like go from point to point, uh, but they that's but that's just that's just for show. Like that stuff doesn't really really matter, right? But like, they also did prove that they are contiguous and the the plots that you're allowed, you can the seeds that you can play on it's it's like a pixel basically so it's such a small uh, like such a small zone you're landing on because the planets are so big uh that it's just not possible to click close enough to be able to see like someone removed the markers uh outside of new atlantis and then landed and you could see new atlantis from their seed that they landed on I mean, it's a um, cool effect, like hiding, yeah. loading, and things like that. But that's yeah. all it actually is. It's just kind of hiding the loading effect, guys. Yeah. Well, that's all so it is. From a from a programmer's perspective, that's actually really good for managing the memory on your 100%. game. Because, like, if you put in like, God, okay, like if I drop like sixty thousand objects in one point of New Atlantis, and like the map was completely contiguous, could you imagine trying to keep everything no. of that detail in? No, it's just not possible. Yeah. So. I can see why Bethesda did that, and honestly, like I'm, I'm loving, like what, like I, I'm loving the fact that, yeah, the space exploration probably isn't there, and that's not defensible. Like that should have been addressed. Like that should be, maybe the DLC fixes it, but like, dude, yeah, the the main, like the 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 side quest stuff, I think makes up a lot for it. Like I could, I like I would very much continue playing that, and then finish the main story and start new game again, and. Maybe by the time they release that first expansion, they could f***ing fix that space exploration or do something with it that makes it meaningful, right? It's also so. really important to get to a certain point in the story really before uh, jumping onto the side quests. I would recommend anyone who hasn't played any main story, play some main story. Because yeah. it gets pretty... Uh, there's, some, there's some important things that you can use. Some important game features that are only possible game through the... Pronouns! Yeah, you can choose your like pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing, the thing about the, the thing about her too is like when I look at this game, and it's so funny because you actually posted this, Caleb. Like, the game is really apolitical. It really is. Like, there's I thought it just, was. there's like nothing yeah. in the game that comes across as like, you know, overly cream or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm playing the game, and for the most part, it's like, yeah, you know, it's just standard sci-fi shit in space, right? Like, I'm mm -hmm. like when I'm with the pirates, you know, it's like there were some really tough memes though. There were some. I think there was one anti-Semitic like thing that they got that got left in the game for some reason. There was like a merchant Wait, on what? the on, okay, so there was this merchant in neon. Actually, oh, God, let me bro. let me find this. Excuse let me find this. What? Hold on, hold on. I like the, it was like left in the game. Like yeah, we just yeah, 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 anti-Semitism like... into uh, no, 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 like, there, there, was, there was one. There, I think it's uh, who was it? Who's the Count Dankula posted this on Twitter? But like, of course. You, of course, it was Count Dankula. All right, the guy that taught his pug the Nazi salute. Well, yeah, so, well, well. So it it this... all comes full circle, does it? No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm like, Count the, 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 the memes show. are like the the memes about it is like, what did Todd Howard mean by this? And so one of them yeah. was like the pirate quest line. It's all run by like minority so it's all run by like a mexican guy mm. and like a black person like what did todd mean by this no. <laughs> that the criminal oh. faction is all run oh, and then no. there, there was one merchant on neon who wasn't like reducing the price so there's a persuasion mini game in, in in starfield where you have like an option of dialogue choices and uh you can you know persuade somebody into giving you better deals and one of them was like it's funny i picture you with a little hat on or something i'm like there's no <laughs> way I, I i honestly i don't know if that part exists in the game i don't think count Dankula edited it but i'm like what the f if that got Dude, left in that is insane i saw i saw a clip of uh Sneeko and aiden ross in uh, new york city interviewing random people and um 
basically some Jewish guy goes up to Aiden Ross and tells him, hey, have you prayed today? Like, uh, you know, missionary style. And he's like, oh, no. What? And he missionary like, you know, style? What? Yeah. Hot. He's like, yo, you haven't prayed. You haven't prayed. He's fr they're from uh, a certain sect of Judaism that's uh, very cool, actually, and very nice people, generally speaking. Um, but anyway, not the point. The point is, like, he gives him, like, a, a yarmulke, right? The little Jewish hat thing, as Sneeko yeah, called it. Yeah, Sneeko's like, I'm not wearing one of those Jew hats. That's haram. That's haram. <laughs> one of those Jew hats are haram. That's so fucking funny, dude. dude what what a like, Man doesn't understand that it's lit. Like, he's like, my God is not the same as your God. It's like, he, man understands nothing about Islam. Which is Dude, hilarious. That, that's that. that Same I mean, God, like, bro. Same God. I mean, like, you you can't expect much out of it, dude. You can't expect much out of some people, dude. It's like you gotta just like you gotta just like you know laugh at laugh at idiots and shit. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. But uh, I'm actually just glad that everyone here has been like fucking enjoy. Like, I'm just glad that like there's there's people here at least positive about this one fucking thing that I've been playing the last week, dude. It feels like every time I go on the internet, people are just so like negative about this. You know, overly negative. You know, but uh, Starfield. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. People are overly. stupid. Though. Have you have you not realized that yet? Hey man, what the fuck? I have a lot of hope. Bro, for you people. actually listen to comments, Caleb. What are you talking about? You read I don't your listen comments. to them. I accept them. <laughs> <laughs> accept you know, them as I will, reality. I, I will say before we end this, Todd, if you're listening, can you please put a fucking car into the game? Like I'm oh, sick yeah. and tired of fucking walking my ass a whole kilometer on every fucking planet. Please put some fucking cars into the game, Jesus I Christ. I traveled a kilometer to tell you this song. Dude. <laughs> I am rectangular. You see that mountain, you're Jesus gonna walk Christ. to it. I, I will say- You see a mountain? You can walk to it. People shit on the graphics, but I actually think the fucking planet graphics look good. I actually think they it look really good. nice. Like, I, landed I think the game on the, is beautiful. I landed on the moon, and I still haven't found the lunar lander, and I'm gonna fucking Aww. keep- I'm going to keep going through every pixel on the moon until I find the fucking footprints. You can go read a book at the uh, at the the constellation area, and you can just pick up a book, and it gives you a marker for the lunar landing. Damn. What? <laughs> yeah. Damn. I've been there, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What? And here, and here I was. I was about to do that stupid shit you'd see in Mr. Bean where I put 000001. Zero, 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 oh, zero, my zero, God. One. No. <laughs> my, my entire... In Starfield experience, I would have shown you the moon three weeks later, Caleb. It would have oh just been God. landing areas and landing areas. That made my weed see in your face there, Moda. He was gonna that comb the desert with a comb. Yeah, dude, I was gonna, I was gonna comb all of the fucking moon to find those footprints. <laughs> God damn it! You're gonna Mel Brooks it. Um, but yeah, I've been to Chicago, Los Angeles, and the moon landing. Anyways. Wait, is there a Los Angeles and Chicago in the game? Because I tried landing there and I did not see it. I yeah, saw London. Uh, Los Angeles is actually under Chicago, interestingly enough. Oh. You. <laughs> well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you all enjoyed today's episode. Um, we've covered a lot. We've talked about, you know, extraterrestrials that have finally been showcased on our Pretty planet. regular episode. They're real. Hey, listen, all right. At one I'm a point, believer now. At one point, they're going to... And bring this thing out on the press conference walking in front of you it's gonna be a three foot tall et looking mother that biden's gonna be wheeling out and then people still won't believe me but uh we had a few interesting like we had we had a we, we had we had a we had a fun time here today and we got to thank our guest false eye for youtubers are dead rip bozo it's a we're done at last so we made it happen it's all about, it's all about yeah. princess jane these days it, it's all wanna, downhill if, from here if you want to help a fellow VTuber out, download their Unity project a hundred times, a thousand <laughs> times, maybe a million. In yeah. fact, there's a great program called Auto Hotkey that just does it for you. But uh, anyways, <laughs> you, you like that mobile game that shitting on your app store recommendations? Just download and download over and over again. Anyways, uh, we've also got Caleb Oompaville. Check him out on his channel. Yeah. Make some banger stuff. We've got Nuxtaku. Check him out. Banger stuff. And me, if you absolutely want to fall down the pipeline of the most dumb conspiracies imaginable. You I'm make great here. content. Stop the self-deprecating every episode. Okay, next Listen, week bro, someone at, else is at, doing the outro. At this next point, week you're not doing the outro. At this point, I'm I, I'm committing to the meth meme and just covering flat, like the most dumb. I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna. In the next video you see in a year is gonna be me at, at the bottom of the river finding the Loch Ness monster, dude. I'm gonna do it.
You're just out here trying to lower people's expectations so they can't possibly get disappointed. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Dallas, like, in a couple months, and I'm gonna be, like, looking for dinosaur bones, bro. Oh, <laughs> do it. I'm gonna find me a dino bone. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all. We are out. Thank you.